Today on Garden Fork, learn how to install a dishwasher. Stay tuned. It's Dad. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. We're going to put a new dishwasher in my parents' house. Oh. It's not really hard to put a dishwasher in. Even I can do it. You can too. I did it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to figure out what you did here and make sure it works. Well, Kurt helped. <laughs> okay. Kurt helped with that one. My brother helped, so we're going to see what he did too. Anyway, my point here is you can go buy a dishwasher and put this in. Um, there's just a couple things we ought to keep in mind. Two important things are turn off the water and turn off the electricity. Very simple. Thing slides out, put a new one in, boom, you're done. Okay? In here, we have a drain coming from the dishwasher that's clamped up here at the top of the food disposer. Sometimes it just goes straight into the side of the pipe. And then, oh, in the back here, in the back here is a valve going to a flexible line here. And here's the valve. And we're gonna turn that valve off. That turns off the water supply to the dishwasher. If you don't have a valve coming off the side of the hoses feeding your faucet, you should go downstairs and turn the water off downstairs at your water main. Where's okay. the electricity you're supposed to unattach? Oh, right here is the plug for the dishwasher. Newer dishwashers usually come with a power plug rather than being hardwired. Go downstairs and turn off the circuit breaker if yours is hardwired. But this isn't, so we can just take this and pull it out and your dishwasher is disconnected. These are my sister's dogs. This is Harry and Hazel. They're both rescue pups from where? Diana's Grove. Diana's Grove. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Along the edge here are going to be some screws, like that. And my dad does not have a cordless screwdriver, screw gun, so we're just going to do this by hand. What's that, Dad? That's a screw gun. This is very garden fork. <laughs> this is what I this is what I learned on. All right, this isn't going to work, but we're just going to use our screwdriver, and that's my brother calling. <laughs> They're helping you with the dishwasher. Yeah. Some dishwashers have a, uh, this one on the counter, there's a kick plate going across the bottom of the cabinet, so you're gonna have to unscrew that and take it out. Kick plate comes off. Holy mackerel. And then this, it just pulls out. You lift it up. You want to be careful not to scratch your floor because there's little metal feet at the bottom of this thing. So you sort of walk it out a little bit. There's always something that catches, so we have to just... There you go. That's a dishwasher. Yep. This is the water line that goes up into the dishwasher, so we have to disconnect this water line. What kind of wrench is that? This is an adjustable crescent wrench. Oh, wait a minute. There's an easier way to do this. So the easiest way to get the dishwasher out is just to disconnect this. This is the supply line. I'm just going to make sure that the valve's turned off and disconnect that line, and then we can pull the dishwasher out. You might want to put a little bowl under here because some water is going to come out. This is the drain we disconnected from under the sink. So some water is going to come out of there. Okay, so this is out now. We disconnected the drain, the electric, and the supply line. We're gonna take this out in the garage now. It's really light, it's just, it's a plastic box basically. We're gonna remove this hose and, and reuse it. Right here. What is that? What you got there, Dad? Oh, don't you know what that's for? No, tell us. Well, you put this underneath the washing machine and you tilt it this way and it flips over and you take it down and you put it in the truck and away it goes. You're going to remove your supply line and this right angle fitting here. If you're putting in a new one that, you know, there isn't an existing one in there, you have to go buy this kit. 
It's called a dishwasher installation kit. So as long as this hose is in good shape, you can reuse this. If it's kinked or leaking, don't use it. Go buy a new one. This box here is where your power cord goes in. We just remove this little screw. Why are we taking out this thing for the power supply? This is the power cord for your dishwasher and we're going to reuse it because most dishwashers don't come with the power cord. So we're just going to take it off the old one before we put it out for the recycle guys to come pick up. This little screw comes out. That comes out. Again, this is unplugged while you do this. And you disconnect these wire nuts. Save your wire nuts. My brother put this in so you can tell. Look at all that cable tie, <laughs> which is unnecessary, but. So you have your power cord from your old fridge, I mean your old dishwasher, with the strain relief. You feed that through this hole. Read the directions that come with your dishwasher. Tighten that down with your pliers. So again, we've got white wire and white wire. Twist the two white wires together. We take this wire nut. Twist that on, and then we check it. We make sure that it, we can pull in the wires; it doesn't come apart. So we have a uh, right angle adapter for our water supply. We're going to put Teflon tape on that, and then this goes right in here and falls off. You want this to point toward the back of the dishwasher, like that. These are compression fittings. They don't need Teflon tape. Not too tight, just a little tight like that. So read your directions, but this is going to be clamped like this. If all else fails, read directions. This is the right clamp for the drain. Just read the directions and I'll <laughs> tell you that. There you go. Bunch better clamping. All right, our hoses are going back through the original holes. So my hand is under the cabinet here. I'm going to pull the hoses through as dad pushes the dishwasher in. All right? There's some little feet. There's some little feet on the bottom of your dishwasher to level your dishwasher. So you want them to bring it in and out a couple times, make sure it's level, just screw and unscrew the feet, there's four of them, to make it level, because level is important. Level is important. You like that with the hands? Yeah, very affirming. Yeah. Be sure to read your instructions because the way the drown is, drain is routed is important because essentially you have to put a little trap in this tubing. So you have to sometimes cable this up into the corner of your dishwasher mount and then have it go into the drain, but it'll show you how to do it in your instructions here. We just put that in, Eric. Yeah, I know, we forgot. Um, you have to put that insulation, which where it says, do not remove, we actually removed it. So we put the insulation around this thing. It keeps it much quieter. So under here are usually two brackets, sometimes there's more. And then there's a strip of wood under your cabinet. And you will screw this. If you had your screw, then it'd be a lot easier. <laughs> You'll screw this up into the wood. All right, plugged in the power, turned on the water valve, connected the drain. If you have to go downstairs, turn the circuit breaker, turn on the circuit breaker. And now we press. That sounds okay to me. Clean dishes. Here we go, clean dishes. All right, let's see what happens. We have to wait now. <laughs> Keep an eye out. You want to run it through a cycle and when it goes into its drain cycle, make sure that the drain is connected. It's not leaking anywhere. Look underneath right now, uh, like I'm going to do. 
Make sure there's no water dripping from where we connected the hose to the valve. Get some dog kisses. Yeah, it's not leaking, but I'm being licked, so. So you like the dishwasher? I love it. It looks beautiful, beautiful. You did a wonderful job. All right, there you go. Subscribe if you like our show. Hit the subscribe button or leave us comments below or send me an email, eric at gardenfork.tv. All right, thanks for watching.